So guys, I'm just going to ask you some top kits. Um, these are short kits for shallow fishing and equine fishing. And I thought I'm just going to show you how I go about elasticating them from start to finish. It's dead simple. Don't take long. I've got some elastic there. This is 11 hollow from Preston. So I'm going to put a bit of that through. I've got a diamond knife thread in just in case I need it. I've got some Dacron beads. I'm not going to actually use a Dacron bit. I'm going to reverse the bead. So i got a direct connection to the elastic. And then just some, some little 5mm beads there for the end so you know i'll show you how I, how I do it it's dead simple literally takes two minutes so get the the roller puller end now you can feed a diamond thread down through if you want but to be honest you there's no need with these short kits so i just feed them through feed the last again dead dead simple just feed it in make sure it's going down the right way it is just keep feeding that in now until it sort of there's enough elastic in there that there's weight in it and it should pull itself through then so feed a little bit more in it's dead dead simple this is there's a little bit of weight in there now so i can bang the end of the top bit and it'll pull the elastic through you can see the last is going through there now. So just going through. Wait for the last of the part with the bottom. Obviously, I'm banging it on carpet. Don't go banging it on concrete or anything like that. Don't want to be doing that. You damage the end of the PTFE. It should just come out the bottom. There it is. So as you can see, the last is out at the bottom of the, the short kit there now. So the next thing I want to do is put my little bead on the bottom. So this is where the the diamond knife threader comes in. So these little beads I've got here, they I'll just show you. There, as you can see me, you've got a small end, a slightly bigger end, right? I want a slightly bigger end to be closest to the knot. So, feed a diamond knife thread of through like that. You can see that there. You just grab the elastic on the one end. Put it into the diamond knife like that and just slide the bead on so the beads on beads on like that yeah that's that's all i need to do for that now i need to tie make a little loop like that just fold it over back through the loop twice so it's like that just a little bit of lubrication here and that's my knot so i'm going to just cut the ends of the knot so it's like a crow's foot so then we'll so it's like that and i'll just slide that bead up to the up to the last like that now that bead acts as a little bit of a buffer on the on the roller puller so it sits like that nice and neat you can sit the bead axe is a little buffer also if i need to shorten the elastic a little bit the bead stops the elastic going through so if i got a little bit hanging at the end of the pole where the elastic stretching for the day i can do that until i get home to cut it back to the proper length so that bead axe is a little bit of a buffer now the other end, so the business end then, all I want to do is I'm going to get my tack run out of the packet, come on a little, uh, little peg like that, 
Now if I was using carp fishing, I'd probably use a Dacron. Use it the proper way round, like a proper Dacron. But because it's F1 fishing and I want to be proper direct, I'm just using the bead. So I'm going to use that little, little diamond threader again. Feed it the opposite way round. So the small end on first. Now, grab my end of my elastic, put it through my diamond knife threader like that, and just feed it on. Take a little bit of pulling through, but I just feed that down then, down to the actual top kit. So, you see that, eh? It's just that's just going in the end of the top kit there now. So I put a little bit more out. So it's, it's a little bit pingy. That's perfect. So what I'll do then is I'll tie a little overhand knot in the elastic. Now this doesn't have to be complicated. Just one little overhand knot. You see that there. Just do that, give it a little bit of lubrication just so it don't damage the elastic. And it does, you can see that there, the little overhand knot in there. Now, I'm just going to snip the elastic off a little bit further up. Now, that there is my connection. My rig then will go just behind that knot there. And then the bead will come up and slide over it like that. And that is your final connection. So you direct the elastic off your rig. Now that is, you know, from start to finish to elasticate that section, took what, five minutes? So, and that's, that's a short kit, four F1s, elasticated, and you've got your perfect little little bead connection on that that gives you that direct from the line to the to the elastic and that is absolutely perfect and those Preston beads are perfect for that so that's how I elasticate a short kit for F1s you know I hope you've uh, maybe learned something from it or if you already knew just how I do it and that is it in a nutshell very, very simple and hopefully you'll catch a pile of fish on it.